There will be a crisis if Tinubu's victory is denied. Faneka Ode to Afeniferes Devanjo. Can you imagine? Look at what uh, uh, FFK is saying. I'm talking to Adebanjo just simply because uh, Adebanjo asked Tinubu to step down and come and support to be, you know, now uh, telling him that he should come home now and now that it's time and they will forgive him. Now FFK is now writing back to say uh, there will be a crisis if Tinubu's victory is denied. Who, he has not even won an election and he's not even going to win. So what are you going to say about that? How are you so optimistic that Tinubu will get victory? No matter how you rig it, this guy is not going to win. Okay? Hmm. Let's see. A former aviation minister, Femi Faneka Ode, on Thursday, warned against any attempt to rig or annul the anticipated victory of the All Progressive Congress APC presidential candidate, Bola Tinubu. Faneka Ode issued the warning while responding to a comment by the leader of the Yoruba Social Political Organization, Afeni Fere, Ayo Adebanjo, that there would be crisis if the Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi loses the February 2025, uh, sorry, 20, February 25 election. Adebanjo had cautioned that Nigeria might break up if the electorate failed to vote for B during the potential uh, during the presidential election. Can you imagine? Mm -hmm. So, uh, so what are they trying to tell us here now? Uh, so it's a plot particle to succeed Buhari, a friend of Ferris and Can you imagine? So warning that Nigerians should prepare. For war, Adebanjo explained that some forces are plotting to jettison Obi and vote for Atiku Abubakar, the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party. Adebanjo, who averred that Obi is leading the crusade to get Nigeria out of bondage, claimed there is a plot to ensure another Montana succeeds President Muhammadu Buhari. Responding, Faneka Ode wrote, Prepare for crisis if Obi doesn't win. Baba Ayo Adebanjo, can you imagine? So that is what he's saying. So, hmm. so Baba Mi, the only thing that will provoke a crisis is if after uh, uh, Bola Ahmed Tinubu wins, someone attempts to annul or deny him his mandate. Such an act will result in not just a crisis, but a monumental and raging conflagration can you imagine so so Fanica Adina is now talking back on the uh, Padibanjo just because Padibanjo said uh, you know there will be war and there will be break up if they rob Peter B of the presidential uh, uh, election okay now Fanica Adi is the APC is not the only political party in the system, I have about 18 political parties with 18 presidential aspirants. Only Faneka Ode had to respond. Uh, the rest are still quiet watching the terrain, watching the scene. Okay? Faneka Ode is the only person that has been quick to responding to Padivanjo's uh, comment, saying that Padivanjo should be prepared for a conflagration. Okay? Because if Tinubu wins and they deny him that. Uh, Position or try to annul the election, that there will not just be crisis, that there will be war, there will be conflagration. Conflagration is, you know, when the fire breaks out in several pieces and spreads fast, like wildfire. Okay, that is what uh, I think is called conflagration. Conflagration, meaning that the the crisis will break up so many at different points at the same time that it will be difficult to to quell. Can you imagine what the uh, SFK is coming out here to say? Okay. How can you... Uh, you are not the only person there, but you just responded, telling uh, Padavanjo that he, he shouldn't just... Uh, he should also prepare. If Tinubu, if Ubi loses, uh, that's fine. And uh, if Tinubu wins and they deny him, 
we should also prepare for that same crisis that he's talking about. And before somebody like whatever just comes out to talk, just like Kabasa just so talking, they don't just talk, they, they hear, they see, they have their syndicates, they get information. So I'm sure there are several moves by several uh, political big wigs to do different kinds of things, this uh, indigenous election to win it, either by crook or by hook. But I don't know how that would favor all of them. Okay. So uh, there are several comments here. Uh, one is saying, how sure are you? Let's, you know, let's have a fall. Nothing will happen. So FFK, why are you always for the part of troubles? You see, I would say he's a hungry, frustrated man. <laughs> FFK. Arabic is saying, the Baba that said there will be, there will be this if Obi doesn't win the election. It's right, Abi. <laughs> so, someone Arabic says, thank God you have mentioned it. But please, do not run. No. Crisis will be two if Obi loses to your scams. Nigerians are ready. This is the year of decision for this nation. That's the ready. Arabic say, Fanny, I pity you. Okay, you in person can't even win local government council election. And that was what the guy I told him. Okay, that look, <laughs> you can't even go and win local government council election, then you can come, we can talk. That is it. Uh, so we say that has been the plan, but God will fight for this country. Okay, likes of Tinubu and Atiku are no longer um, welcome in this country anymore they have cost nigerians more damages than good wow how much the same goes for peter Obi. we cannot vote for peter Obi. that's so what somebody says elsewhere again now somebody say where were these empty barriers when abiola was openly robbed of his mandate eh? nothing will happen if tinubu is flogged out of the race on the 25 february Okay, FFK and his cohorts should surrender their international passports to DSS so that if they investigate war, if they instigate war, they will stay to fight it. Somebody say empty threats. FFK, your aversions are useless. Okay, as nobody takes you seriously anymore because of your chameleonic traits. <laughs> it's very chameleonic trait. It's not to be trusted. It's really not to be trusted. So now, Fennecal is training words with Padebanjo here. Uh, if so, see, Padebanjo said, if Ubi is robbed of this election, then they should prepare for crisis. They should prepare for war and for breakup. Meanwhile, Fennecal is coming on the other side that he should prepare for that war uh, if Ubi loses. He should also prepare for another war or fight if Tinubu is robbed of his mandate as well. Okay. That's okay. So now we are beating drum of war. People should get ready to fight it when it starts. Okay. So thank you for listening. That is back and forth trading of words between Padivanjo and Femi Fenikaudin.